Hello everyone. I hope you'll enjoy this video. We're going to do a chalkboard style um, technique for making this greeting card. I wanted it to look like the chalkboards you see in the bistros in small town downtowns where they have brick walls. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras and get started. As soon as I tell you who I am, I am Donna Goodwin. I'm Winged Horse Designs and I'm located in Brookings, South Dakota. I'm also an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So let's go ahead and get started on this technique. So here's a better look at the card. I did some embossing and some sponging on a piece of cardstock to make it look like a brick wall. And then on black, we, I did some work with some chalks to make it look like a chalkboard. And then on the inside, it just simply says, kind people or my kind of people with another pot and succulent in it. So it uses a couple techniques. It uses masking as well. So I am going to set this up in the corner here. And the description, the measurements are in description, so you won't need to write it down. I pulled in a stamp set from our annual catalog called Simply Succulents because I just thought that it worked really nicely with that. We're using the pot, these two succulents. You make the ordinary extraordinary, extraordinary, and kind people are my kind of people. So I chose that to use for this particular card. The, you'll need a card base that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm gonna give that a good crease with my bone folder and then set it aside. You'll need a piece of Whisper White or excuse me, wow, old name. Basic white that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches or any other neutral you choose to use for the inside. And then for the outside, I have another piece of my Cajun craze, same color as my card base, that I ran through the embossing folder. Now this is called brick and mortar, and it's important to remember that this is directional. So you wanna line it up however you want your bricks to be lined up when you put it on your card. So I've already run it through and I set it up so that my bricks would be in portrait mode. And then you'll need a piece of basic black. I cut this one out with the stitched rectangles, but it's approximately three inches by four and a half inches. Um, and this is going to be our chalkboard. So I'm going to set that aside real quick. And let's go ahead and kind of whitewash our brick a little bit. So I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. A piece of copy paper, actually. A sponge dauber and a Whisper White ink pad. This is pigment ink, so it takes a little bit longer to try. And I'm just gonna pick up some of that ink and I'm going to brush it over my bricks. Just to give them, it's also a pretty sticky ink. so that the raised ones have a little bit of extra color on them. We're gonna keep this ink pad out because we're gonna use it. There's a couple ways to create a chalkboard on your black paper. You can take, like I just did, you can take a sponge dauber and you can put some of the pigment ink over it, or you can take a static anti-static tool and you can rub it over it and it gives you that kind of look get some of that powder on there and rub it over and it will give you that look of a chalkboard now this doesn't have a whole lot of on it but it kind of it kind of gives you the look here that you had something on the chalkboard and you erased it off. I'm going to get that powder off of this piece of copy paper before we proceed. So then I wanted to, oh, the camera's having a really tough time today. I wanted to stamp 
this image down here in the bottom. So with Versamark, or excuse me, not with Versamark. I'm not using Versamark today. With my craft ink, I started with the image I wanted on the top. So I started with this first succulent. And I'm just going to kind of set this to get a feel for where my pot, for a feel for where I want my first succulent to go. And then I found if I put my chalk on this prior to putting my mask on it, it works better. So I'm just going to bring in a tile and I'm going, well, we don't even need that. I'm just going to bring in my pastels. You could use any pastels that you have. And I am going to use some little foam brush brushes that I actually picked these up at the dollar store. There are eyeshadow brushes. And for this particular succulent, I think I'm going to use these two greens. So I'm going to use this kind of bluish color. It's called Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to rub it on here and pick some up. And I'm just going to pounce it over my white pigment ink that takes a while to dry. And then I think I'll do the outside edges in green. So if you want to use the colors just as they come out of the box of whatever chalks you're using, you can do it this way. And then I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to rub off the excess chalk because that's all pastels really are, is it's some excess chalk. I'm going to give it a good flick to get that off. So you still have a little bit we still have a little bit of the chalk showing as though it had been erased and then redrawn. And then I'm going to bring in a little mask that I cut out. And I just used post-it note paper. And I just simply, it's kind of hard to see, but I did stamp that on here. And now I'm just going to cover this up. so that I can put my next image on. And I'm gonna bring in this one. We're gonna put it over here. And again, we're just going to pounce on there. I think we'll do the outs, we'll just reverse the combination. We'll do the outside in the bluish color, kind of a turquoise color. It's and do green on the inside. Now I can just simply flick that off or I can take my paintbrush and rub a little bit of it off. Whatever I choose to do. I'm going to bring in another mask that I cut for this one. And we're going to stamp our pot. And I'm going to use this Poppy Parade that's going to come out looking more terracotta color um, than actually Poppy Parade when it's on this black card stock. There's another technique you can use as well. You could do it on paper. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on. You can take the palette side of your take your pick tool. And you can take your chalk and you can kind of scrape it.
And this gives you looser chalk to work with. Goes on a little bit faster this way. And again, we can take the excess off. Depending on how hard you rub. But I wanted my little planter to look like it was actually that color. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to add some more of this chalk directly on the cardstock. And the more you rub it in, the harder you rub it in with the color on it, the more it will actually stick to that. So then I want to mask this one so that I can put another little piece of succulent kind of coming off of the edge. My succulent's gone wild. It's growing everywhere. I wish that were true of my real succulents. And again, we can just pounce with some colors. I'm going to make this one green. And I'm going to take a little bit of that off. And then when we take our mask off, so now that I've removed those post-it notes that were covering it up so that we could get images on top of images, we have our succulents, but they're kind of floating in air here. So I'm going to take some of this Whisper White pigment ink, and I'm going to draw a little base for it to sit on. So this just has something to sit on. So we can put our sentiment on here now. And again, I'm going to do this using the Whisper White pigment ink. so that it'll look like it's been written on here with chalk. And there you have your chalkboard. So you could use all white and just keep it white as though you were using just white chalk, or you can add some pastels over your craft ink because it takes a while to dry, so the pastels will stick to it to make it look like you've been working with colored chalk. And then when we bring, so we'll go ahead and I'll clean up these stamps and stamp the inside. Which I will do later for the sake of keeping the video short. But now we just simply put these together. So I'm going to glue this one down flat to my card base. So we have our brick wall. I'm going to add this piece with dimensionals so that it's lifted up like the chalkboard's been mounted on the brick wall. And we might 
might as well just use a few more here. And I'm just going to put it down in that corner. And there you have the front of the card. And on the inside, after I clean off those stamps, I simply took the pastels again. I stamped I stamped the succulent and mint macaron. And then I put a mask over it. And I stamped the pot in Cajun Craze. I stamped my sentiment in mint macaron. And then I came back with those pastels. And I went over the cardstock to color it in as well. So there you have a quick and simple chalkboard technique card. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will come back and join me again. Remember every Friday I upload a different video and next Monday at 10 a.m. I will be live with this baby wipe technique card. Oh, here we go. There we go with this baby wipe technique card. And then next Friday, I will be uploading a card where we're going to go into the kitchen and raise some supplies. I will be uploading this card using plastic wrap. So I hope you'll come back and join me. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share with your friends. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye.